this week to make another recipe. Today's recipe is going to be Bucatini alla Matriciana. It's called like this because of the origin place, which is a little town called Amatrice and it's outside of Rome. Um, to make Bucatini alla Matriciana, we would need pork chick, which I couldn't find, so I used pancetta, and it's about four, four ounces pancetta. Um, this is probably about a third of a cup roughly chopped onion, a pinch of hot pepper flakes, one 14 ounces can of Italian San Marzano peeled tomatoes, one pound of Italian bucatini, a little bit of olive oil just in case your pancetta is not fat enough, roughly chop the um, San Marzano peeled tomatoes, you'll need pecorino, grated pecorino, at the end of our recipe. Um, the use of onion is not necessarily true to the true recipe, but I like the way it tastes, so I always throw it in. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to prepare the sauce meanwhile that our water boils. And then I'm going to cook the pasta, toss it with the sauce and we'll dish it out. So give me just a second to get ready on the other side and we'll get together soon. Give me a flash. And here we are. I've warmed up probably about a tablespoon, maybe a little less of olive oil just in case. My pancetta didn't seem too too fat. So you're gonna throw in pancetta onion and hot pepper flakes all together. And here, for about a minute or so, maybe even a little longer, until your pancetta get a little crispy and onion starts getting a little golden. Now if you want, you can add probably about a quarter cup of dry white wine to your sauce right before adding the tomatoes. I won't do that, but that's totally up to you. Also, right Before adding your tomatoes, um, you can actually throw in a pinch of salt. I am not going to do that because pancetta tends to be quite salty and I'd rather do it when actually the salt is going to be ready. Water doesn't boil yet. So. Hmm. If you could smell now, we can actually throw in our tomatoes. We'll let the sauce cook for about, probably I'd say 10 minutes. And as soon as it starts boiling, we we'll reduce the heat to medium and cover with a lid. So, we'll We'll get back together as soon as I'm ready to throw pasta in the water. So we'll see you in about five minutes maybe. Let's hope so. So see you soon. 
and our water is almost boiling. I switched pan and pot. Um, I'm going to put salt in the water, put the pasta. For this recipe, we're using Italian bucatini from Tuscany. I don't know if you can actually see it. They are way thicker than a regular spaghetti and they're hollow all the way through. That's why they're called bucatini. Um, okay. Now, Italian coarse sea salt. This should be enough. Okay, when you cook a long cut pasta, you don't need to put oil in the water. Um, what's better to do is to gently twist them without baking and let them go so they'll spread apart. And tear pasta frequently for the first three or four minutes of the cooking time so it won't stick. If you use olive oil or whatever other oil in the water, this will basically coat your pasta and the sauce won't stick to it. It will just slid off. So, um, another thing is never overcook pasta. Pasta should always be cooked al dente and actually it should be cooked a couple minutes less than al dente so that this will allow you to saute it into the saucepan and absorb more flavor so and also always cook pasta in rapidly boiling water and without the lid on do not cook pasta in the microwave it's really the worst thing you can do um, so we'll get back together when it's time to take it out and toss it into the sauce and this means about eight minutes probably because again bucatini are quite thick so see you soon and it's time to drain our pasta what i usually do with long cut pasta i just take them out with this and toss it directly in the saucepan so it will retain a little bit of humidity on its own. If you are using a pasta strainer, then you may want to reserve a bit of the water you were cooking pasta in because that can be used to thin your sauce in case it's too thick. Whoops. They seem alive. Now we cooked a whole pound of pasta, so this means that this recipe is for four, even five people if you're ser serving something else in the same meal. So, we're pretty much almost done. I don't like to put pasta in a container and then just throw sauce on it. I'd rather cook it a minute shorter and then finish cooking in the sauce. This way it will really be well coated and it will be more flavorful. Um, I followed the recipe that called for about a little over 100 grams of pancetta, which was this package. Um, I would probably use a little more next time if I am making a pound of pasta. So, turn off your heat. Dish it out. Then mm. 
Just a little bit of parmigiano or, pic well, actually pecorino. You can use parmigiano if you don't like pecorino. On top. And we're done. Sorry for the mess. I am a messy chef. So here's our Bucatini alla Matriciana. I hope you'll try them. They really taste and nice. So we'll see you again next week for another video recipe. Have a great day. Yeah.